Hi everybody, welcome to uh, another video here on my channel. I'm Cassie, Crafty Cassie. Uh, and today I have another haul for you guys, but this is from a different um, place than where I've been going. So, mostly because I want to unpack the yarn and get it all organized, um, I would do the unbagging. So this is actually like my third order. Yes. My third order from Hoobie. Got the big bag with the name on it. So I originally placed this order to get yarn for a baby blanket for my new niece, uh, Poppy. And they have these big gradient twirls. I think they're twirls. I think what I got is a twirl. Um, but they're big cakes, gradient cakes. And they had in the color poppy so I wanted tones of red and orange and things like that to go with her name um, and I was able to find a colorway that was called poppy topaz so I had to get it like it was just saying that it needed to happen so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the items that I got and show you guys I also picked up a mystery bag um, I got the cake mystery bag so they put in four different cakes from their you know cake style um, in the bag, let me throw that in. And I want to say it's like 40-ish dollars. So one of the things I got is I got mohair. Now, I like to dye yarn. And trying to find mohair at a reasonable price has been awful. So I got the natural color in their mohair to see if it dyes well. If it does, I may just have a new yarn dyeing line yarn base that's what I'm thinking a new yarn base to add to my fingering and my sparkle yarn bases that I already have um, and mohair just adds that layer of luxury so uh, this is a mix of mohair nylon and acrylic um, and so I got 10 of these mohair and they're I think they're 25 grams a piece so using them as my base for yarn for or my supplier as for my yarn base um, these are relatively affordable which means that i can keep my hand dyed mohair at a much more affordable price um, which would be nice so that people have the ability the affordability um, to have a luxury yarn base and still get hand dyed so I also want to knit um, a love note sweater, which has got like this lace, it almost looks like part stripping. Um, and I want to do it in my own colorway, my love letters colorway, um, which is like a, a gradient of reds with some black speckling. Um, so I bought both um, about the red and I bought black because I wasn't sure what I was gonna like more for that sweater and it is a fingering and mohair held double sweater pattern and I've already paid for it I already bought it bought it a long time ago I knew I wanted to make my love letter so I got four of each so that's a hundred grams I got four of each. That's four black. There is, there's a red right here. And four of the red. Um, I forget what color this is. It only has color numbers, unfortunately. So this is color number 46, and the black is color number 9. So. And I know they had another red color, and I think I ordered cherry red and black is what they called them. But, uh, now I can add those to my mohair shelf. Over here for now. So they're out of the way and off the floor. So here are the two gradient cakes that I ordered. This is Poppy Topaz. What I really like is that it's got this easy start tab here so you can pull from the center, which I like to do. 
Um, these are Cotton King uh, twirls. Yes, yeah, so I did get a twirl. So it's a Cotton King twirls, 100% cotton, 200 grams, or roughly about 800 meters. It's a number two when it gets worked up. And this is the color 50. So yeah, I remember it being Poppy Topaz because I bought it specifically because of the name. And both of them have that easy start tab, which I love. Um, that is something that is special about these. And then they always stick a candy in here, and I don't know what I did with the candy. Maybe it's in there somewhere. Oh. Oh. And they always send free, pro and when you spend so, so much amount of money, they send, um, free items. So I got these crystal buttons. It's a four-pack. They're 12 millimeter, so that's a pretty decent size. All right, so for my mystery bag. Ah, oh, here we go. So the twirls, yes, Poppy Topaz color number 50. I bought two. Um. I, yep. So the the whites that I got for dyed is natural white, and I bought ten of those. I got the Diablo Black, which is that 09 colorway. I got four of those. And then the, it's what they call their mohair print line, is the Diablo. Um, and then I bought the red, is called Candied Apple. And then I got a Lucky Bag Cake Yarn, and it comes with four cakes. And then there's something about using hashtags and stuff like that. Showing, opening the bag. Set the bag over there. Alright, so the first of the mystery ones here is a Cotton King's Twirls Deluxe. This is 250 grams and it's approximately a thousand meters. I could get a gradient top out of this. It's probably sleeveless or at most short sleeve. Um, I do wear a medium. This is a number two. It's in the color six, number 16. Yeah. Because they reprinted the bar here and it was labeled as the color 19. So um, I don't have my phone with me right now so that I could go in on the website and check it, but you're more than welcome to do that. This also has the King Cotton Easy Start right there. So these are going to go on my cotton shelf. I don't have any room for right now, but I've got plans for most of those cakes up there, so there will be room. Uh, this next one is a Cotton King Twirls Pastello. Um, and this is in Gradient Turquoises to Mints. It's pretty. It's right up my alley. This is like my favorite color right in here. This dark tealish um, turquoise color. This is color number three. It is also a number two. This is approximately 800 meters. Then I got this one, which is purples down to cream. Uh, color number 42, and this is a Cotton King Twirls. So it's the same line as the um, Poppy Topaz that I got. So this is going to have some sort of, like, jewel tone, I want to say. So in this case, I'm thinking amethyst, maybe? And then the last one is this one. And this one is a Cotton King's Twirls Nation. And this is patriotic for me, because I am an American, for those of you who don't know. Again, another 200 grams, or approximately 800 meters, and the easy start. So that would be really cool probably a sleeveless top. Um, I do live in Southern California, so cotton is something that I will need to wear a lot of if I want to make tops, just because it gets so hot here. Um, so yeah, that is everything, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the down bar. You can find me in Instagram, on Ravelry, on TikTok, and here on YouTube, all this Crafty Cassie, it's all the same, spelt the same. 
Um, until next time, guys. I will see you later. Bye.